Oh, I love Thursdays for drinking. I like Christmas baking. I like Christmas snacking. I like Christmas movies. I clearly love Christmas decorations, but most of all, I love Christmas music. So what are we making today? We're making jingle juice. It's gonna be amazing, and it's gonna jingle you any which way you want. It's gonna be a sleigh ride. Wait, there's no ride, so it's just a sleigh ride today. It's a sleigh ride. Before we get started, can we just take a home moment and appreciate the glorious, gloriousness? Boop, boop. Ooh, Jessica, I have been drinking. To appreciate the glorious tree that is behind me. I have worked very hard on this thing for a few years, but I have to be honest, I did not do this alone. There are gifts from certain people, Jessica. Um, there's an eggplant on my tree from Ben and Nate, thank you. Uh, Sarah's given me some ornaments. I maybe stole an ornament from somebody. Matthew, I'm sorry you didn't have a tree at the time. Serge, please forgive me. There's lots of stuff, but the thing that I love the most is from my dear friend, Elf, and that's my sweet cherub. We all love her. It's amazing. And Robbie, thank you for teaching me how to light her. All right, let's get down to Jingle Juice business. Here is what you're gonna need. We have to start with the good stuff. Red wine. Hold on, I know it's not brown. It's red, calm yourself. Here it is. It's cognac. Have we made a drink with cognac before here? No. Am I scared? Yes. Jessica, have you ever had cognac? No, I haven't. I haven't either, I'm so scared. Are we popping our cognac cherries? Together? That sounds dirty. That, I'm not gonna No, you can't. <laughs> so we have our brown liquor. It's gonna be so good in your mouth. Then, this is exciting, we need some grapes. I'm not gonna tell you what for, but they're gonna be used. This is just a little tiny bit of simple syrup. I made it myself. It's delicious. This, white grape juice. Over there, some soda. And here we have some lemons. Or oh, actually, here we have one single lemon. <laughs> <laughs> to polish this thing off, we have rosemary, which frankly smells so good. I'm losing my mind right now. I wanna put it all in my mouth. What we need to do, ah! is make it look like this. Most of the leaves on the branches at the bottom are gone. So we kind of pruned it a little bit. I'll tell you why later. It will make sense. Yes, it will. All right, nothing says Christmas like a good cocktail and the sweet sounds of a Euro-Caribbean band. You know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, I'm so sorry, so sorry that you don't know the Boney M Christmas album. It's so good. It is filled with amazing hits like Mary's Boy Child. We have When a Child is Born, Feliz Navidad. We have Petite Papa Noel. There's just so many good songs. My mother had this album on all the time when she was doing her Christmas baking and preparing everything for Christmas. It was amazing. You don't know any of these songs. You know the one song that you hear at every wedding you go to, they sing Rasputin, or as we like to say, Ra Ra Rasputin. So there you go, enjoy, that's Boney M. So Christmas can be stressful. So this drink is gonna take away your stress because it is filled with the Christmas spirit. If the Christmas spirit is cognac, and today it is. All right, this is gonna be a new one for today. Usually we have the martini shaker. Today, we're going right in the glass. It's going right into the glass. So what we need is two cubes of ice in here to start. Just out of reach, I have a cube. And I'm not, I, I run hot. I would never put a drink, an ice cube that was on. I think well, it's better if you take the ice off the table and just throw it directly on the floor. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. It's not even open. I don't know how, is this a twist toff? A twist, a twist toff? <laughs> oh, this is so simple. It's ribbed. Okay, is this a cork? Oh! The answer is yes. Okay, here's, here's, should we get a shot glass to like, taste it? Yes, we should. Jessica, get two shot glasses, please. On it. No, no, don't do it, Scott. Don't do it. Wait for Jessica. I'm waiting for <laughs> I Jessica. I see you. <laughs> oh my, are we, okay, are we doing a full shot of this? No. We'll just do like a just sample. Do, just, what, what, what? I don't even know what cognac is. Clearly, I am not a booze professional. It's a matured, blended, and bottled. Oh, no, it's just matured, blended, and bottled. Mm. It smells... Much like us. Oh god, does it smell terrible? Strong. It does smell strong. Okay, are we shooting this? I don't think you shoot cognac. I'm gonna sip it. Here's to the Christmas spirit and hoping it tastes good. Oh, I like that. It's actually okay. Oh. It smells oh. stronger than it tastes. It's kind of smooth. 
Oh my god, this is really smooth. This is like my back after Sarah Barry shaves it for camping. I feel like I could breathe fire right now, and I'd like, but it's not burning in a bad way. I'm just like, yeah. It's warm. Okay, well, that was a, that. Well, that one hit me hard. Nah, red wine first, cognac first. Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna add the cognac. I, I feel that's reasonable. Yeah. For once in my life, I poured a reasonable measure. Next up is one of my favorite bottles of wine because it has a castle on it. And who does? I'm so happy open this. This sounds disgusting to me. I'm gonna try and do equal measures. Do you think that's good? I would say that's good. Why am I being so responsible today? Probably because I learned a lesson about things overflowing and getting messy. I'm not sure if you want to see previous episodes. So I just added my red wine. And speaking of big red, and I am not talking about the gum, I'm talking about Santa Claus. I love the idea of Santa. I love a magical man bringing us presents. Santa is one of my most favorite people in the world. But the Santa that we have come to know and love today he was created by Coca-Cola. I hope you all know that. We all know that, right? But I love the Coca-Cola Christmas song. Have you heard it? When the train, when the train is coming around the bend and everyone has the lights on it and there's Chris, it just does something to me. Watch out, here it comes. I love it. It's coming to town. It's Christmas. It's a good time. It's a good song, but let's get back to the drink. Up next, it's my favorite time of the year. That's not true, that made no sense. It's time to add some lemon juice. And I am not using a bottle, we're gonna ream some lemons because who doesn't love a reaming? You're just gonna do a little, oh, okay, I think this is enough. I'm gonna remove the lemon seeds by hand. That is not what's supposed to happen. I'm just gonna add that much recipes. Now it is time to add the simple syrup. Now I made this earlier, so simple. That's why they call it simple syrup. It's one part water, one part sugar. Easiest thing to make ever. You just bring it to a light boil if you feel it's real or just heat it up and get it to dissolve. And then you let it cool. Do you wanna know what else is cool? Nana Muscuri. Who is that you might ask? Well, let me show you. It's so far away I can't. <laughs> This is the Greek legend that is Nana Muscuri. My mother had this album on all the time in our living room in Lake Bonavista, and I cannot thank you enough for this, Mom. I am obsessed with her glasses that are currently on my face, and I just love her music. It's so good. Little Toy Trains, which is my... Oh my God, I have a train obsession. Nana. We love you. You're my favorite muscuri. The simple and cool, just like you, simple syrup. It's going in. Mm. Okay, I haven't smelled my drink in a while. You know I'm obsessed with it. This actually smells really good. Hey, this is the longest you've gone without smelling. I know, what's wrong with me today? It's time to add more ice. Sure. Okay, our white grape juice. I'm really nervous because we have a lot of liquid to go into this glass and it's kind of full. We've run into problems like this before on Brown Liquor Thursday, and um, sometimes I like to overmeasure or overpour. Is that a thing? Overpour. So this is white grape juice. Most people are used to purple grape juice. This is a little different. It's gonna be delicious. You know what else is a little different and a little good? My love for pentatonics. A lot of people make fun of me for that. Jessica's not one of them. They do not have one. They don't have two. They don't even have three Christmas albums. They don't even have four. They have five. They love Christmas more than me. And this is all I'm gonna say. That joy sign behind me may have appeared in one of their videos or a close facsimile of what I have. It brought me a lot of joy to see it in a video. Scott Hoying, you do something to me when you sing Hallelujah. Written by a Canadian, by the way. Is it a Christmas song? That's kind of up for debate. All right, let's add our white grape juice. I forgot what I was adding. She's going in. Is this too much? Probably. Oh no. Oh. oh. Why? I have two more. I have one. Okay. Oh. This is ooh. Oh. This is gonna be close, people. This is gonna be close. Now it's time to add some soda to calm it down or to make it so delicious. Okay, this is not gonna fit in the glass. Should I drink some or Yeah, have a have like a large sip. God, Jesus, that smells really that's good. That is a good drink, Jessica, and it's only gonna get better. 
soda. Oh lord. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, perfect. She's in. Oh, look how clear it is at the top. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, Christmas in a cup. Okay, so this is a little full. This is the. Oh, I was supposed to stir, and I just took only a sip of soda. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, that tastes like just soda. It was pretty though. It was like a beautiful um, caterpillar in its cocoon before it became the beautiful butterfly that is Christmas. Jessica's, I wish you could see her. She is saying, no, stop it, what you're doing. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like there's wine in here. We are not done. Do you remember why I asked you to make the little rosemary branches like trees? Because these are going to be skewers. This is is jingle juice, but we want a jingle bell or a jingle ball in there. So let's skewer. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. That was much easier than I thought. We're gonna skewer some little grapes onto the rosemary. We're gonna put on three. How cute is that? It kind of looks like a weird pineapple, doesn't it? It does. And then to finish your drink off, you just drop it right into Christmas. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> you know what would make this taste drink better? If you had one. Now this is gonna be a free for all. Are you ready? Do it. Cognac. Oh, I feel like I'm at a bar and I'm under pressure. She's waiting for her drink. I want a good tip. I like the tip. Okay. Jessica, what's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, I stumped her. <laughs> I you don't love her. Christmas music? You um, don't love Christmas music? Do you also not like to laugh or breathe <laughs> air? Do you also not like joy? Okay, so I mean, you don't like Christmas music. the new Jonas Brothers Christmas song. Have you not brought that up yet? I forgot to bring up the Jonas Brothers Christmas Dare song! Dare you? Jessica, I'm, I'm in such a state right now. I'm sorry, I forgot them. That was my, I apologize. Jessica's getting the lemon juice. Simple syrup for Jessica. Now, we're gonna add the white grapefruit juice. Can we just go grape, back? Grape juice. <laughs> now, we're gonna add the white grape juice. I haven't seen a white grape juice, grapefruit. It, Jesus. <laughs> Our soda. Oh, this is a better mixture. Yeah. And then, do you wanna pierce your, oh, oh one, here's your tree. Thank you. It's surprisingly easier, but then getting them on to stay is hard. You know, oh my God. It, you can't do your words today. Isn't it cute? I don't know why I love this so much. It's such a cute little garnish. It smells so good. Here oh, you go. Thank you. Happy, oh happy Yule to you. Oh, and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, Queen. I think this is the best one we've made. Oh, that's good. It tastes like Christmas. The scent of the rosemary while yes. drinking of the drink is... The scent of the rosemary while you're drinking the drink. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Said... This is Jingle Juice. I named this after my favorite Christmas song, Jingle Bells. But not just any Jingle Bells, Jessica. I am talking about one of the least known versions of Jingle Bells sang by the most famous Jewish woman in the history of the world, Barbara Streisand. And if you have not heard her version, look it up, because it is one of the greatest things that will ever go into your ears in your entire life. So much so that Pentatonix did a cover version of it, and I loved every minute of it. There are a couple, a couple special honorable mentions that we have forgotten. One, Brace Yourself. One of my favorite songs in the history of the world. No one knows if it's a Christmas song. It's not. God only knows. It's by the Beach Boys. It appeared in a movie that some of you may or may not have seen called Love Actually. And then, surprise, Pentatonix covered it. I know this all comes back to Pentatonix at the moment, but they love me. They love their music. I love them. I love their music. It's the best. The one song that I have to hear every Christmas because she's on top of my tree. Cher sang a Christmas song with Rosie O'Donnell and it's called Christmas, Baby Please Come Home. Oh, the snow is coming down. Actually, the booze is going down. Happy holidays, everybody. Whatever you celebrate, whatever music you listen to, whatever you want to put into your mouth, I hope it brings you joy. We will see you next Thursday. Happy Brand Liquor Thursday, everybody. You should check out our Instagram and Twitter for Brown Liquor Thursday because Lord.